Ow, that hurts. That hurts my fingers. But if I do this, just by thinking about it um, I thought I was gonna quit YouTube for good because of personal reasons you know I'm so busy I've started my fitness journey and I took it up a notch I am now a certified fitness instructor with pound uh, if you don't know that then just click the link below just to check what I'm doing and I've met this beautiful beautiful group called FlexFit and I have suddenly turned my life 360. Oh wait, someone messaged me. Wait, no. Do not disturb. Uh, I met this beautiful group called FlexFit. It's a quick life update. Um, I'll try to make it super quick, but it's actually a long story. I was so fed up with gyms, with regular, you know, like, I don't want to say the names, but you guys know already Sigur, by now because I've filmed in some of them. I'm an avid gym goer. Well, I was until I figured out, oh, what if I could be the instructor? Or what if I could be the one who leads the whole group? You know, I have the experience from it. I've done teaching before when I was a ballet dancer. I taught little kids who are in fact the hardest to teach. And I just feel so at home when I talk to people and when I encourage them and motivate them to keep on going. So I guess when I met FlexFit, all of that, all of that, um, all of my dreams of becoming, you know, a professional teacher in the future, I fully realized it um, in this community. So FlexFit is a women empowerment community it used to be in Metro Manila but now we've extended to Southeast Asia yay so we have more sisters like in Singapore even in Middle East like we have a few sisters from Saudi Arabia and also in America and what else Malaysia Indonesia all of that and I'm so proud because I'm now a part of the team so from 2019 I started um, as a member but I didn't pay for anything because it was a free program. And I just realized that I can actually do something similar like this. That I can, you know, curate different workouts for girls, for women my age. You know, in the gym, in a normal gym, you rarely see women who actually talk to you. So it's normally when you see women in the gym, they're like, they're at the age where they already have their own friends, they already have their own circles. You know, the titas, the the mommies, the... I don't want to say Lola, but they're pretty good. Like, they look way better than me. They're, they're way toned than me. And it's so hard to approach them sometimes that I feel like I'm always a newbie when I'm in, like, a group class. Um, and I feel left out because they don't know me. Number two, I just... I can't relate to any of what they're talking about because we do have, you know, we have a generational gap. So, FlexFit. Yeah. FlexFit made me more confident. FlexFit introduced me to a whole new environment where women can freely share their thoughts, their experiences, their mental health problems, their eating habits, 
all of that and I'm very thankful to be part of it and I know that I'm still part of the youth I'm a millennial and we can relate to each other even if we haven't met each other officially like face to face because of the pandemic um, and I'm grateful that even if it's an online setting I still can you know reach out to them vice versa and it has been a very rewarding experience ever since so you might have noticed that I am now talking to you like super casually. I was afraid of the camera before. <laughs> uh, I can link down below my first ever unboxing vlog. And I'm not sure even if it's an unboxing vlog, but it's when I was reviewing this camera. I'm still using my old camera, by the way. It's the Sony A5100. I have so much experience that I want to say to you, but I can't say it now, like all in one go. So we're just gonna divide that and we'll see how this edit goes. Um, okay, so back to the main goal of this video. I am going to unbox roller skates. Yes! So it's 2021 and I figured, okay, I should have a new hobby. So I got myself some Impalas. The box is right here. It took only one week for you know the delivery and all of that stuff for the clearances and I'm actually pretty jealous of this box because you know pandemic I can't travel you know Philippines we're still on lockdown guys it's like the second year yeah it's the second year of lockdown um, and this box has traveled all the way from Melbourne Sydney and then I think it went to Singapore uh, what else Singapore and there was with Hong Kong somewhere in the mix and then the Philippines and then finally Manila so yeah the box is really nice um, I got quality roller skates I was thinking before if I should get those in Shopee or Lazada you know the ones that come from mainland, mainland China but as I was researching and I saw all of the reviews I saw that they were having like injuries or some bruising and I figured if I should invest in roller skates or if I should do this like a long-term thing I should really you know save it up and get good quality skates so I saw this girl um, on YouTube and she's also a Filipina like me and she was reviewing Impala roller skates and I just saw the box and I was so intrigued because it was so beautiful and I thought at first she bought it in the Philippines but then when I asked her she got it from Impala so here you have it there you go power of marketing um, so this vlog is gonna be Taglish so a little bit of Tagalog and English right here and there just to have just to maximize my audience all right so I got Women's size 6 USA, so my feet are quite small. And Marawa Rose Gold. So in some countries, I think in the US it's already out of stock. But if you order um, in Australia, they still have some of these and also in Hong Kong. So let's get to work. I'm going to open it right now. Hope you can see it. I'm going to open it this way. So you can still see it. Alright. So it comes in a nice box. Ah, and there you have it. Yay! Secret lang, but I actually wore these already earlier. I just returned them in a box just so I can fulfill this unboxing. <laughs> okay, so you have two pieces of paper here. It's the extended warranty one. So it comes in English and French. Um, and the other one, the other piece of paper is probably some instructions like the nuts and bolts and all the specifics of this stuff so that's that and then I'm trying to oh, get the perfect angle for you here I'm just gonna grab onto them so from here just get one I've already tied them up but I put them back in plastic so it's a true nature of the unboxing to me it feels more authentic <laughs> okay, um, here you go! Beautiful! Very nice. These are vegan. I'm not sure what that entirely means. Probably no animal skin has been used, so 
that's a plus one for me. And what I really love about it is that you can see here it's holographic. Uh, my favorite color is actually gold, but this one comes in rose gold. And even like the details of this is beautiful. It says Marawa here. I don't know if you can see, but hopefully this camera still works. I love that toe stop that matches the wheels. And it's also like a nice marbly visual. Um, but it's rubber. It's not that heavy, but when you wear it, it does have some weight in it. I like the padding. And this is actually one of the reasons why I wanted to buy nice quality roller skates. Is because you get a really cool padding inside. And it's really firm. It's really steady. And you really get the bang out of the buck. Okay, alright. And it's holographic. It's so cool. Wait, there's a piece of paper inside. Okay. Yeah. Um, fun fact. Before I actually click add to cart for this one, I actually went to Lazada first to buy this. Because it doesn't come with it. Um, I'm not sure why. But some orders do come with like a free tool but this one I ordered from Lazada or Shopee I don't know but it's like a, a skateboard tool or a roller skate tool and it comes in like a screwdriver here oh this camera doesn't work anymore but yeah there there that's the screwdriver and yeah it, it's pretty nice it's very helpful. I've tried it already a while ago. I loosened one one shoe, like the bearing, I guess. I'm not sure what you call this. I guess it's the bearing. I need more research because it's my first time, obviously. Okay, so this is skate number one. I haven't thought of a name yet, but probably some something Russian <laughs> because of the ballerina that I am. Okay, so this is skate number one. Let's place it here. Skate number two. Unboxing this one as well. Uh, I'm not going over the specifics anymore because there's a lot of YouTube videos out there regarding those. Okay, let me just get rid of the paper that I put back in. Okay. Um, it's already like 6 o'clock here in the Philippines, so I'm not gonna go out anymore. I'm just gonna wear it and I'm gonna show it to you in a bit. Probably in a few more minutes. So let me just close this one. Ugh. I feel like total, this is one and a half pounds. I'm not sure if pound or kilos. One and a half kilos, maybe? So it... When you add them together, it's like 3 kilos. Because I d didn't just buy these. I also bought the protective gear. Which is this one. I'll try to unbox this or unravel this in a while. So you can see. And I'll, I'm going to wear it also. And it looks fabulous. I already tried them out uh, earlier today when they arrived. But I just tried to, you know, tried to loosen up the the bolts here underneath so it can actually be more how do you how do you say that it's more mobile if you loosen it up here and so that's that it's actually becoming a little dark now but <laughs> I'm kind of liking my face I'm wearing a sports bra by the way so here you are. Very nice. I'll try to make it aesthetic. I'll try to film it and then see what works. I'm very excited to use them and I'm also planning to re-download TikTok just for the sake of it. And I'm actually torn between you know Instagram, if I should just do Instagram lives or if I should really do creative stuff with it. So I'm still thinking about it. But probably, I might bring back my TikTok just for the sake of skating and change my username to like, Sk 
skater girl Sophie or whatever. I'm sure there are a lot of Sophies who are skaters out there. Shout out to you guys. And these skates, I hope they do me good. Hold on. Because I wore it already and I actually put some toe guards already. So they might have a little bit of minor scratches here and there. And alright. So these are the skates. A good friend of mine, uh, her name is Paula Bianca. She's actually one of my seniors in this bar studio that, that I work for. Um, and because of the pandemic, you know, a lot of fitness instructors lost their gigs and their jobs. Lucky for me, I was able to, you know, maintain my graphic design job. Um, I still work from home, and I've been working from home since 2016. So, Paula Bianca actually was a skater before me and she started last year and now she has a business of creating these super cute glittery toe guards so this is what they look like so I got three colors just to support her business so this is the gold one and I also got one in rainbow rainbow color I really tried my best to match it with the skates that I have or as much as possible same color or same tone and then I got a black one just in case you know I get a black pair of skates so they look really cool and sparkly so these are the toe guards very cute can't wait to install them There you go. So they look like that. These are my toe guards. So I ordered my toe guards before I even ordered my skates. So that's one sure way of knowing that, okay, I need to commit to my roller skating life or to this journey that I'm on. Okay, so that's that. Let me now show you these protective gear three-piece safety gear pack. So I'm just gonna read it. Marawa's mom bought her roller skates out of the trading post for $20 when she was two. This started a lifelong obsession with skates. Now she holds 12 Guinness World Records, half of them for feats in high-heeled roller skates. Ah, okay. That's why when I when I saw Marawa's Instagram, she had these skates where they look like 80s retro heels but with wheels and it's so cool. As an international showgirl, she has graced stages everywhere from Paris Fashion Week, Dita Von Teese's cabaret show, Sydney Opera House, and the list goes on. Yes, and she has her very own collaboration with Impala. So I was actually uh, fortunate enough to have one of these um, while they're still in stock. I'm not sure if they're still available now because of the demand and because she's actually very active on social she's been promoting this collaboration since last week or since two weeks ago so these are for the elbows the wrist guards they're all, they're also like rose gold feature so you can see oh, let's go camera right there this one it's getting pretty dark but <laughs> let's get through this and these are for the knees the knee pads so knee pads elbow pads and wrist guards that are small I'm a small petite woman so I just order them in small because I don't know how big is medium or large or whatever um, and also when I went to the States when I was 16 or yeah, 15, 16, they thought I was legit in middle school because, you know, Asians are typically younger looking than most people. So, just saying. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me just try these on elbow pads. So the elbow pads, I guess, 
goes like this. I'm not sure if that's the correct way. So it has like little velcros here. She actually has like a step-by-step -step, um, procedure on how to wear your guards or your protective covering, protective gear. So I'm just gonna go ahead and watch that again. It was like a series of lives. Oh wait, this one? Okay, so I guess this part right here, the, the top part is the one that should be here. The flat part of your wrist so it goes like that but before the wrist guards um, you should be able to wear the elbow pads first because it it's logical to put it first because it passes through Very nice and comfy. Very snug fit. Okay. There you go. I think I did it right. There. There's actually also a step by step method on how to fall or how to use your um, protective gear effectively so it's usually wrists first um, before anything else so it's always bending the knees same thing you should like tuck underneath so instead of falling backwards you fall forward so that's the proper way to fall a lot of tips and tricks in the Impala Instagram I'll also link that down below so you can see it um, tell me lang if you want me to talk more in Taglish because I, I know I said Taglish but I keep speaking in English you guys <laughs> okay um, for this one I'm not sure what I should do first I forgot I watched the live but I forgot I guess it's I guess it's like that oh okay I get it I'm so tiny you know my hands are the smallest hands in the world. There you go. Oops, there. Ta-da! Okay. It's quite stiff. I feel like I have a, sh um, a wrist splint. I don't know what you call that. But I've never fractured any of my bones and I'm very thankful for that. Um, and these would really help protect my wrist. From, you know falling or whatever let's just try the other one just for the sake of it hey okay. yep I can't I can't roll it anymore this one actually feels a lot better than this one this one feels like my wrist is so constricted but that's when you know that it's very protected So this is your, or these are your protective gear for your arms. For the feet, um, I'm not going to show it here but I'm just going to wear it. It's very much intuitive. You know where the kneecap is. It goes here. It goes there. Okay. Alright. I'm going to remove these first. So I'm going to... Actually, you know what? I think I think I'm going to remove these. First. I'll remove these first, and then I'll just wear them again when I already have the skates on, and I'll show you, you know, what it looks like with my whole outfit. I'm not wearing, you know, a super fancy outfit like the ones you see on TikTok or the ones you see on Instagram. Not yet, because I'm still a beginner, but hopefully when I'm a little bit, you know, more 
into it or more confident with my skating, I will definitely try to include my fashion in it. <laughs> I used to have like these nice pants with a lot of steel buttons on the side and it's, I think they're elephant pants and you can really, I think you can skate in them but they don't fit me anymore so sad life. <laughs> I've gained a lot of weight, especially in the pandemic, but what can we do? Food is good, and we gotta eat to survive, so. Okay, so I'll just fix it up first, and we'll just come back later for, ah, for the reveal. Um, special shout out again to Paula Bianca for these beautiful sparkly toe guards that are custom made and shout out to Impala for your beautiful service your customer service special shout out to DHL for having such incredible customer service um, I have never had delivery that quick and that very detailed so I was able to track my package uh, my roller skates from Melbourne to Sydney to Singapore to Hong Kong before it actually arrived here in Manila and there were a lot of things that these babies had to go through like I know customs they have um, a lot of clearances to be checked a lot of things that are happening in between and since April 12 I was already able to see all of those so they were very they were very quick and I think even in weekends they also showed me like an update um, I tried messaging Impala on Instagram and they were quite unresponsive <laughs> but when I emailed them and when I was able to like chat someone uh, in their website that was when I figured that oh okay they are responsive but in their social, I guess because there's a lot of people who tag them or they just generally get a lot of messages. So I guess they don't see mine necessarily, but here you go, here you have it, and let's try them on. Yay! 